new videos every day. This is Athena Jezik and we're still on the back and I'm gonna just talk about what what is the objective of having massage therapy besides it just feeling good, um, making the muscles more pliable, helping with circulation, what to look for for a good massage therapist, um, what is a good massage, what isn't a good massage, a lot of that is a, a preference. Some people like a lot of very deep, deep, deep tissue, and some people don't. Uh, but a therapeutic massage is one where you are going to get into the muscles to a degree and push lactic acid out, help it to get back into the system, increase circulation, uh, just relax the body down, let the muscles have a chance to let go. A good therapist will know the anatomy of the body quite well and work from origins to insertions, which is the entire length of the muscle. And a therapist, even if it's a lighter work, will still be following muscles. There's a difference between a lighter pressure and working with the muscles to let them let go that's the, the kind of work that you do when you just apply a, like a donkey donkey type of pressure where you're pushing into that muscle as far as it's gonna allow you to come in and then rest and just kind of lean with each other. And then as it relaxes a little more and trusts a little more, it'll let you in a little farther. That is a therapeutic type of work. Um, deep tissue where you're pushing and forcing your way in if the hands are very skilled and the person is really knowing what they're doing, that can be therapeutic or it can be just a very painful experience if, if the hands aren't well placed or there's not a, attention being paid to the pressure that's happening underneath your fingers while you're applying the, the force. So that's something to maybe think about if you're looking for a massage person in your area. You want to make sure that they do know the muscles well. There's a lot of people that will maybe do something on one side and then the other and it's very light and it's kind of with their fingertips and they just kind of work it like this. That's not really uh, a massage. I mean, technically, I suppose by definition it could be considered it, but that's not really doing anything except for moving the skin around in the very top layer but it's not gonna give any kind of change to anything, any of the tissues to do it like that. So if it's a lighter work, you want the hand to come in to a point where you're engaging, you're interfacing with the muscle. And even if it's a broad sweep like this, you can feel an awful lot as you're going up the side of the body. It's an interface and not, you can feel an energetic kind of a flow between my hand and or the hand that's working in the body it begins to feel like it's a pulling in like a magnetic pull and quite energetic body work when you're touching somebody can be just as much energy work as being off the body so don't be fooled by that People who do off-the-body energy work may or may not be really moving energy. Unfortunately, there's a lot of less than credible uh, things that are being spoken about in ways of energy. And with working in it so much that I have and over the last many years, is there's a certain amount of energy that's just applied with the work itself. It's a matter of being able to direct it properly or to know when to pull back on it or to know when to put more energy in and all of that comes with training because it can happen. I know some of you out there will be very skeptical of this but again you have probably not had experience with it or had much understanding with it so I encourage all of you to learn something before you ridicule something because not knowing a subject and just taking it from your your paradigm of understanding without taking the time to really understand what it is and more about it is is not a 
very evolved thing to be doing. We have a lot of ridicule and a lot of things like that in the world, and if people would just pay attention and understand, you'd find that there's a lot of depth to a lot of knowledge and understanding that we don't have. Contrary to what we might think, there are other ways of healing than just what we get 24-7 on the television set with drugs and medications. So we should probably begin to think things through and reason things a little bit more and dig into an understanding about what can be happen to the body, especially in a diseased state, because it can correct and a lot of diseases don't have to be there. But they will be there if some certain treatments are continued. And that's where your discernment as a consumer or as somebody that's looking for health should pay attention and understand that you don't have to tolerate these sorts of illnesses. A lot of times what the treatment is is going to make you worse and you need to understand that even though people in certain medical circles are believing that they're doing the best that they know how to do, if they only know one way and they're not savvy to the fact that medicine has become a business, a very profitable business, certain treatments are going to be handled a certain way in order for that business to survive. I personally think that medicine should not be a business, it should be about keeping people well and people being responsible to themselves to keeping themselves well and choosing what's best for them. We would have a lot better society if we weren't suffering in that way. I myself enjoy massage therapy and I've done an awful lot of massage therapy over the years. But I find that for more critical conditions or traumas that massage therapy isn't going to do a whole lot for a lot of it. Post-operative, some massage therapy can help, but basically you need to have fluids moved when you've had surgery. Dental work, cranial sacral work is really good when you're having dental work done. The uh, mouth work and cranial work will keep those bones aligned, whereas the dentist, even though they're very gentle, a lot of times the work is just rough for those little bones to handle. So it would be nice to have people more aware that they should go in and have that repositioned so that they don't have to go through the body normalizing to a imbalanced mouth. Can affect moods, can affect energy levels, it can affect a lot of stuff. So those are just some things to begin to think about. Become responsible, become well understood in what it is that you're up to. And massage therapy is really just one little piece of it all to help keep people Keep yourself relaxed down so the body can rest and relax and circulation can be restored and the mind can be quiet and oftentimes people will even sleep pretty deeply during a massage. It's probably sleep that they needed very badly. And I believe that in the future, probably not so distant future, there's going to be an entire renaissance to how we handle health services. I think the whole idea of diagnostics is going to change. We have some really good diagnostics. I think there's going to be some other ones that are added. And I would not be surprised if it uses sound. And even treatments can use sound because there are some frequencies that can really change conditions. So there's a lot on the horizon. 
So if we just start by keeping our muscles strong and keeping our core muscles able to carry us well and take time out on a, you know, four to six weeks and just treat ourselves to a nice hour, hour and a half to just relax down, look for the good clean foods to eat, try not to eat a lot of icky food, unhealthy food, empty food. It's very simple, but it is a lifestyle change and it does take some work. But when you get to the other side of it, it's quite a happy place to be. And you can grow old gracefully. You can have a lot of fun in your older years. Because even if you take good care of yourself, you still will find that as those numbers pick up, the age that we are, the chronological numbers, there is a certain toll that the body does take. So it would behoove all of us to take as good a care of it as we can so that we can enjoy life all the way to when we're ready to go. Okay. <clears throat> this is Athena Jezik from Austin, Texas. Thank you.